morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's currently Sunday. It is currently 1.49. I'm about to eat some breakfast and get ready for the intramural basketball today, which will be fun. So I got intramural basketball. Then I got, um, after that, I got D&D, &D, and then D&D, &D, &D, I have Sela, Sela, and then after Sela, I don't have anything, and then I don't have to be up till about 7 tomorrow because... I'm done with football for the like. I'm, football season's over, so we get. Um, I get to sleep in, which will be nice. Um, two weeks off of lifting is what we are required to do, so I'll still do some like core stuff, but not like lift, lift, because it's letting our bodies recover. Um, so, yeah. But other than that, that's kind of the plan for today. Um, I'll probably show some clips from intramurals. I'll have some people film, and then, yeah. Outside of that, I will give a pretty beefy Bible breakdown because I'll be reading three things because I missed three days of reading. So that'll happen. But other than that, um, I will talk to you guys probably before your meals. We have guests, we have guests today for the, for oh, the target run. We got Xander, we got Titus. Yeah, we're on the way. On the way. Wait, is this a vlog? All right, so I am going to be cleaning my room and rearranging my room. So you guys are gonna see me speed, uh, you're gonna see me time-lapse me cleaning my room and kinda getting stuff all in order. And then I have to fold laundry, but I have to put laundry in, so that's gonna be the mixture of cleaning and stuff. And then I'm gonna rearrange my room, which may or may not get filmed, but then I will redo and do a room tour of my rearranged room. So that's the plan, um, but let's get to it, because uh, it's currently 10 o'clock and I prefer to not be up till one. Not the best uh, situation, but I'm gonna do it. We're gonna get it done. I should go throw some trash away and then I'll be back. Now I'm going to put laundry in the washer, fold the laundry, and then we're going to start rearranging. Alright, so I uh, cleaned my room and I rearranged it. I rearranged it in a way I wasn't expecting, but honestly, I'm completely fine with the way I rearranged it, because now, um, now I'm in a position where I... Yeah, I like how it turned out, so that's, a bit, that's, that's what, what I like, is I like how it turned out. Um... And now I have some more, like, it's it's a bit more open, it feels. Um, so, yeah, it turned out really well. Um, I will give you a tour real fast. So, so I moved. So initially, this desk was on this wall, and I had the desk, like, angled. Now, this desk is here, and then I moved this desk over here. So now this is where I'll work on, like, stuff, work on homework writing and stuff. This is where I will play video games and like actually do just chill, like Jay chill and stuff, like eat, eat food. Because I want a separation. There needs to be a separation from where I work to where I watch stuff. So that's why I'm doing this. Um, then I moved my, my rug. I moved my bed this way. So now, I don't know, I just moved it that way because I thought it would look be better. Now my head will be different. It's just different. It more was different. I just wanted a little change up. So, turn all that around. My fridge is now there. Air fryer stayed up top, which is nice. Some stuff like it just all the stuff got moved around like that and then I rearranged this a little bit so I had more room in this spot because initially it was really packed in but that's now because of how everything is it's moved in so now yeah it's all cool so that's what I did to to rearrange my room a bit and as you notice the tripod that I normally use is um, a uh, paper towel which is yes it is what it is so paper towel roll is my uh, my tripod um, I honestly could use my book thing now instead of this, and I could just put you there and have you at an angle, but regardless. Um, I'm now going to edit the video. It's currently 12.24, so I'm waiting on my laundry to get done, so I will need to do my laundry and fold it, but I'm going to work on the travel vlog right now, see if I can get the clip from Greenville, um, and yeah, we're going to see what I can do. So I'm going to work on that, and then I will do the Bible breakdown after that. All right, so I um, I finished catching up on all the Bible reading. I'm gonna do a breakdown tomorrow morning before class, um, which will end up in this video. But I just it's it's 1:30 right now, and I need to go to bed. So I'm gonna edit the thumbnail, post it, and just go to bed. So 
I will talk to you guys in the morning. Good morning, ladies and gents. Um, so, of the reading last night, I kind of um, had... I, re I read a lot. Um, I, read Ma I read Isaiah 18 through 22, which is a lot of prophetic reading. It's really um, sometimes hard for me to find stuff to pick out because it's a lot of just prophetic reading about Israel at the time, which I know there's stuff I could talk about, but it's just hard because I don't feel informed on that topic, so that's why I don't typically talk. It sh I struggle to talk about that. Then I read Matthew 8 through 10, which, holy crap, the amount of stuff that Jesus does is insane. Like, insane. Because I was, like, looking, and, like, it's just so much. And he's just... It's crazy. And then I read, um... I read, uh, what's it called? Uh, Romans 9, 9 through 10. Um, and Romans 9 through 10, I... Um, actually, you know what, no, we're gonna, we're gonna read through Matthew, because Matthew was just so much. I think Matthew's not the better one to take out of it, but, like, there's so much. Um, so, um, oh, that was a crazy statement. Um, okay. So I think the uh, verse that I that stuck out to me the most was uh, Matthew nine verse twelve, which is it's twelve through thirteen, which is but when when he heard it, he said, "Those who are who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick, go and learn what this means. I desire mercy and not sacrifice, for I came not for not to call the righteous but the sinners." And this was in reference to him meeting with tax collectors. Like, he was sitting and meeting with tax collectors was after he was telling Matthew to follow him. Um, now, that statement, the idea that he said, those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. The thing is, is that we can be all high and mighty, but we are all, quote-unquote, sick. We are all sinners, no matter what we do. We're all sinners. All fallen short of the glory of God. It talks about that in Romans. And so when it comes down to it, when it talks about all this, it's, if you're sick, you don't, you don't just go on continuing to live like you're sick. You go to the doctor so you get medicine so you can get better. Here's some of the medicine. And not just from the Bible, but it's also a personal relationship with God. You need a relationship with your with your physician to be able to truly get better. And I think that we sometimes need to humble ourselves before God and understand that we can't do it on our own. We need him. We need to need him as our physician. We can't just think, oh, I can take these things without him. If you if you have a bunch of things that you take without a doctor's doctor telling you to take it and you're taking the wrong things for the wrong thing because I feel like we is if we're uneducated which we tend to be when it comes to this kind of stuff you're going to end up taking the wrong thing to fill to fix the fix something that doesn't that can't can only be fixed by this one thing that is one medicine this one physician that is God and Jesus so yeah so I think that was the a book thing that stuck out to me is that we all need the physician that is Jesus Christ and that we have to humble ourselves before him to be able to be willing to come to him with our sickness or sin. Okay, let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for this day, Lord. Thank you for just continuing to pour out, pour out, to pour out your spirit on our lives, Lord. Lord, I pray and thank you for being the physician for our sickness, Lord. Lord, I just continue to pray that you would give us discernment as we go out throughout these days, Lord. Lord, I pray that you would just to heal those who need healing, Lord. Lord, and I just, I just thank you for this day that you've made. In your heavenly holy mighty name, amen. Blessings.